I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, let's say you just got off work and you want to watch YouTube on your home theater PC which has worked fine for all of these years with the YouTube lean back interface but of course today's day is October 2nd 2019 and we all know what has happened on this date. Google for no logical reason whatsoever has decided to limit access to the YouTube TV lean back interface to only supported devices. So that doesn't include home theater PCs. So, for example, I'm going to launch YouTube. Which normally I already have up. but So I'm going to launch YouTube and okay, I'm about to watch some videos like usual. And wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no. The YouTube app is no longer available on this device. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, bull crap. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and uh, talk about how to resolve this problem. It'll take you only about 15 minutes to do. And you can see, it's loading up the YouTube desktop interface, which I tell you is, is about as useless as a wood stove in July. Yeah, this is definitely not going not gonna to help me at all whatsoever. You see, um... About the only thing I can do from here is is pretty much nothing. It's non-functional on this remote control. So let's go ahead and walk through how to fix that. I'm going to show you guys some video footage that I shot last night when I figured this out. Hey everybody. It is October 2nd, 2019, and it's a, supposedly the day that Google will kill off access to the YouTube lean back interface on unsupported devices, as they say. As they say. So right now, I'm going to launch YouTube on the uh, TV box. So let's go up there to my YouTube shortcut, and you'll see when it launches... And of course, you get the dreaded message. It will come up. Yep. This version of YouTube will no longer be supported soon. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, bull crap. So, guys, I'm going to just be honest with you. Um, I already know how this YouTube interface works on, for example, like a Ro on a Roku TV. Because my parents have Roku TV. And the interface is exactly like this. So, essentially, what's going on in the background of your Roku TV is it's running a web browser that's running the same exact freaking interface. But why do people on Roku's not get this message? Well, there's a reason behind that. It's called the user agent. Essentially, your web browser reports to the website or the server that you're connected to the, uh, like for example, the version of your browser, um, the version of your operating system and whatnot. But the thing is, if you change that, you can actually work around something. Now watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and remote into this thing. Okay, so here you're looking at a sample Roku user agent um, string. Instead of being, you know, Chrome on Windows 10, blah, 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 it says Roku DVP-5.0. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to a notepad file the second thing you're seeing is what you can insert into a Chrome startup shortcut to force Chrome to change its user agent. We're going to find out if this works here in a moment. Okay guys, I'm now in. We are seeing what's on the screen over there. So I'm going to go ahead and fetch that file I just saved. Okay, so I had the file right here. There it is. So I'm going to launch YouTube using my shortcut. This launches Chrome in Kiosk mode. Which is essentially what the YouTube lean back runs in. So I'm going to click OK on this. 
Okay, since we're in kiosk mode, I cannot access uh, inspect element, so we're going to get out of kiosk. We're going to run Chrome in regular mode. So give me just a second here. Use my remote control since uh, if I press Alt F4 on this keyboard here, it's going to probably <laughs> shut off TeamViewer. Um, so let's just launch Chrome in regular mode. And of course, the web address for the lean back is youtube.com forward slash TV. And you see right now we get the prompt. All right, so okay right click and choose inspect on the upper right corner <clears throat> I'm going to click there's little there's three little dots up here in the corner I'm gonna click that more tools go down to network conditions what we're doing now is we're gonna briefly change over the user agent see right now it's the default is select automatically and if we uncheck that, by default, you can enter a custom user agent here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my notepad. We'll copy this here. We'll paste this in here. Close this out. And we're going to reload the page and watch what happens. Okay, why is it doing this now on this one? <laughs> Perhaps it didn't save. Ah, yep. It, for some reason, it, uh, yeah. Okay, so I gotta leave this up. My bad, guys. So watch what happens here. I relaunch the page. And look, what do you know? I don't get the prompt anymore. So, I close this out. I close up the little, uh, if I can close out inspect down, I don't know if I can or not right now. Uh, crap. Oh, there, there we are. All right. It's just, there's a little bit of lag here. So let's see if I can control this with the remote control here. I can. I'm going to select Q computer channel. And now, if we go down to settings, It thinks I'm running a Roku, which is, according to Google, a supported device. Guys, we just found the workaround for this problem. Now, <laughs> the next thing we're going to do, since this is only temporary, um, if I close out this tab and then reopen it, you'll see... Well, now from what I was reading online, supposedly it, um, hang on, from what I was reading online, supposedly it was temporary and did not save to your next browsing session. Now, I haven't closed out the browser yet, but let's actually try that. I'm going to close out Chrome. I'm going to launch it. I'm going to actually launch my kiosk YouTube shortcut. And you see that we get the prompt. Okay. So, step two on this is um, <clears throat> we need to go ahead and edit my shortcut here. My shortcut, essentially, what it does, I'm going to copy this whole string here. So you see what it does, it just launches 
the youtube.com TV interface in kiosk mode. I'm going to add the following string. You can actually do multiple strings here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this user agent string and keep her fingers crossed that it will work. Okay, there's the whole thing. I'm going to copy that and paste it into my shortcut. Okay, so let me just try this. Start a new shortcut from scratch. Paste this in here. <clears throat> Make sure I got the whole thing. Yep. I'm going to call this YouTube Roku. Now if I launch this, let's see what happens. Well guys, we figured out a workaround for this. Holy cow. It was that simple. So guys, um, this, this really confirms what I suspected all along with YouTube's lean back interface. It's just a web it's just a web based application. And when and when you launch YouTube on your smart TV, it really just launches this right here. So now it thinks I'm running a Roku and thus it's not gonna disable me here pretty soon. So before I wrap this up, I'm going to allow at least a couple of days to pass. I'm gonna watch you see if YouTube will stop functioning on the other TV boxes and see if it continues to function on this TV box. So anyways, I will, I will continue on with this video in a couple of days and I'll publish the final part to YouTube. Okay guys, now you got a chance to see exactly how I went about setting a custom desktop shortcut to launch Google Chrome in kiosk mode and also telling it to use a custom user agent as one from a Roku device. Anytime I launch YouTube, it will at least set shortcut. <laughs> I'll, I'll officially have a, I'll unofficially have a supported device. It just thinks I'm running a Roku instead of a, a Windows 10 computer. So I have a copy of the shortcut. Well, somewhere in here. So actually, I must have moved it instead of copied it. So let me show you where it went. I have a copy here in the Start menu, but also in the Startup folder. And this is the classic shell Start menu, by the way. I'm going to choose Open. Yeah, there it is. I called it YouTube Roku. Make a copy. I'm going to paste it back here on the desktop. So I've had this set up to where this computer, the TV box cube in the bedroom, will launch both Windows Media Center and the YouTube Lean Back interface. So by doing this simple little fix, which took me no longer than like 15 minutes to do, um, I unofficially have a Roku now. I unofficially have a supported device and can now launch the YouTube Lean Back just as it has always worked before. So I'm going to go ahead and um, exit out of this and we'll go ahead and launch it. Okay, so here we are back in the bedroom. One thing I should go ahead and clarify on is um, after I stopped recording, I actually took out the shortcut for Windows Media Center because I'd actually rather it not start up automatically. I have a shortcut for it and start me if I want to start it manually. So now when I log in, it's just going to launch YouTube. So let's go ahead and sign in. Let's see, one thing nice about Windows 10 is the uh, the night night light mode. It cuts back on a lot of blue light, which is perfect for this kind of use at night. So there's YouTube launching. And there we have it. Now this machine is a little bit slower. 
So, select myself, and there we are. If I go down to settings, give me a second here, let me go to There we have it. It thinks I'm running a Roku. Problem solved. So now the TV computer is, uh, is according to them, a supported device. It's a Roku, of course. And now I can just go ahead and watch... <laughs> now I can just watch YouTube like I always have. And it looks like um, it looks like the layout has changed a little bit. Maybe they just recently updated the uh, lean back site just a just a, t just a tad bit. So we'll go over to Cube Comp MDDX and let's play a video. Things look just a little bit different, but it still works. It just syncs that I'm running a Roku. Now this computer is a little bit slower than the other one. It's going to probably end up switching to a different video mode. It always does. A little bitty AMD E um, E series APU. There, there it goes. And there we have it. So yeah, the TV box and the living room does not do this. It's just these two machines. So. Video playback works perfectly fine. Now here's something interesting. When I press Alt F4, I get that. So, like I say, there's, um, it does work a little bit different. Now pause and play seem to work okay. Again, there's a few there's a few differences here and there, but overall, I'm I'm happy with it. Let me see what happens when I press back on the remote control. Nothing. That didn't work previously. I have to, I actually have to press clear on this remote control. But it works almost exactly the same as it did before. It's just the UI is just a hair bit different. It's actually matching that of the Roku interface that you get when you launch YouTube on a Roku TV or a Roku box. So That's that. And also in case someone wondering about the cast to device function, it works just fine. There it is. Matter of fact, no reconfiguration was even required. Now the, the tech room is missing from here because I actually ha um, had taken that machine out of service with intention of trying out Android tvOS on it. Well, I guess that's no longer necessary. Um, I can put Windows 10 back on it and restore it to its previous functionality. So yeah, what a ridiculous move, uh, YouTube or Google. Like, what was the purpose of that? <laughs> I mean. Seriously, this, you know, I mean, I'll never understand why they did that, but the workaround is so easy if you just follow the directions. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy YouTube on your HTPCs again. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be, there's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for your support.